this is a Tempest Bolt deck profile. So yeah, let's get started. Three Tempest Bolt. Uh, it's limit break ability, basically kills all rear guards, even yours. And then his continuous ability, not a limit break ability, is he gets plus 2,000. So during early game, I like to try to get 10 as fast as possible. Because even if you're at 3 or less damage, you gain 2,000 for each, for every uh, open rear guard. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. Okay. And then uh, we do three of the new break ride that just came out. Uh, break ride ability when a great counter blast one, when a great three. Uh, Narukami rides on top, or yeah, rides on top of him. Uh, gets plus ten thousand power and kills two rear guards instead of just the one like bowing. Uh, really works uh, when they have annoying stuff to kill and they don't. You don't have enough for Tempest's ability. Or you can just run the next guy, which really helps out with him. The Gauntlet Buster, uh, Living Break, he gets plus 3,000 power, plus one crit for every uh, every rear, uh, opponent's rear guard put in the drop zone. So, the mission really helps out. And then, this special Counter Blast gets plus two. Or, Counter Blast two, Eradicators kill uh, opponent chooses. And then to grade twos, I do I do four sweet hand. Uh, basically, just the damage and flipper, soul charge. Uh, you kind of blast a lot in this deck, so he really helps out. I only do three spark rain, one because I just don't have a four. But in this deck, you kind you kind of don't necessarily need him as much since. Later on with Tempest Bolt, you're just going to kill him off anyways. So it's kind of best to save him for a later so you can rush your opponent after you kill all their rear guards. And then two Lorenz Force, kind of meant for Gauntlet Buster, but also helps trying to kill stuff too. I mean, that's kind of the point of the deck. But uh, when a great three rides on top, uh, Counter Blast. Basically, when a grade three rides, counter blast one, and uh, opponent shields. Yeah, your opponent chooses something and kills it. Yeah. And then I do two hog show, get plus three thousand. Kind of just something I threw into the deck. Uh, yeah, skill gets plus three thousand. Kind of like Gauntlet Buster for when an opponent's rear guards put in the drop zone. Uh, helps out with extra power for. Uh, for Gauntlet, when you need more rear guards to help swing for better numbers. Okay. Uh, so these out of the way. Uh, I don't think I explained it, but starters lynch you. Counter Blast 1, when a, a boosted attack hits, Counter Blast 1, put him in the soul, kill something. Uh, and it's not just for Vanguard attack. Basically, kind of the best starter for Eradicators. Next, obviously, four perfect guards. And then four Demolition Dragons. Uh, 10k attacker for Eradicators. Three caster, because this is more of a defensive build. He's a uh, Gaunt, uh, not Gaunt, uh, Tempest is actually more a defensive card rather than offensive. So he, when you, after you use Tempest's ability, it's fun to get him out there and try to uh, dish out great threes to get some better cards out. Really fixes the hand. Uh, two Kokaiji, when he boosts an Arakami Vanguard, uh, basically becomes a 10k booster if, he ha if your opponent has three or more damage. Really helps out with numbers, basically. And then one Rising Phoenix. Uh, I was playing three, kept getting too much of them in the damage zone, and really, uh, really put me back a lot. So I just put them back down to one. Uh, Soul Blast two, when placed on rear guard, draw. That's base, he's basically meant for hand, because with Eradicators you don't really have hand power. That's kind of something different with this build is that you actually have a better hand for uh, later later moves. And then triggers, I do 7 crit, 5 draw, 
and then four heel. Four heel. Uh, I like the draws more because, like I said, eradicators normally don't have a good hand size. So I generally will just keep at the five. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, to, do six, keep it a little more defensive. Uh, I've seen people do it, it's not that bad. It's just usually with people with eradicators, they go aggressively, so they'll do more crits than draws. Um, but I like the draws better, it really helps out. And then yeah, four heals. Okay. Um, that's basically it. Uh, if you wanted to, there's some other things you could run. Like instead of a gauntlet, you can try to send it. I've tried him, he's not so bad. It's just when it just doesn't work out if all you have is descendant and a break ride and yet your opponent's at four damage you don't get they decide to not guard it and you don't get any triggers it really puts you back um, but besides that that's about it all right so yeah this is i guess imagine your goddess thanks for watching See ya.